Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you really quick how to get percent of total, how to calculate it with SUMX in Power BI. So if you look at this dashboard I've created right here, um, you have your key indicators and you have some graphs, but what we're primarily going to look at is your data. And right here in this table, you'll see that I have the first parts here are your customer ID, household ID, coupon number, and obviously this was a hardware sales campaign that had numerous coupons associated to it. So it's coupons one, two, three, four, and whatever. Um, group, so groupings of those customers, sales, and items. Those are the uh, data that you would be provided with from your marketing team or sales or something like that. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get these guys over here. So we're gonna get sales tax, total price, total, and percent of total. So these are the calculated columns, and then this is the main one we wanna end up with here, percent of total. So the easy way to look at this, I've got these, right? And so I need to get these. So let's go through them. Sales tax right here is called tax. All I did was rename it to sales tax to make it a little more pleasant there. But if I click on this, it brings up the formula. It's very simple. In this case, for this, uh, North Carolina um, hardware store that's 0 0.07 is the amount of the tax. So it's just sheet one sales times 0 0.07. Obviously this data all comes from sheet one over here and uh, so that gives you the tax. So that would give you this. All you would have to do is put that in there and then plug that in here and that will give you that. And when you come in here you click this and you just click sum. Make sure it's sum, not don't summarize or average or any of those. And that gives you this. So you'll have the tax for each. So you can see sales and you've got the tax based on that amount to the right. Okay. Then next, what we have to do is the total price. So if we click on total price. All that is, is the sales plus the tax. Sales tax gives you this. That's all that is. It's very simple tax here equals sheet one sales plus sheet one tax. Just like that. Next, we do the total. This guy here. Now this is where you can use sum x. Why? Because we want the total of it going down here. We want this number here. See I have the totals at the bottom here? We want this number right here in each row. And the reason being is that that's the only way you can calculate the percent of total based on that price. Okay, because I want to have the percent of the total going down of each uh, one of these customers. How important is that customer? It could be a store. How important is that store out of a bunch of stores? So to get total price, it doesn't matter what you're doing, um, but you have to do the same thing in the end. So let's kick. Let's click uh, percent of total. Actually, I'm sorry, total. Click that one. And you'll see here, what I have is a little different. Now I've got some X, because I'm gonna go down this whole row of sheet one, sheet one sales, plus sheet one tax. See how they're all in parentheses there? So I'm doing sheet one, and I'm doing sales plus tax of sheet one, okay? So see how it's written there? Sheet one, comma, sheet one sales, plus sheet one tax. And that will give me this in every row. It basically takes this right here, and puts that in every row. Once I have that, then all I have to do is the percent of total, which is this. And the percent of total is going to be sheet one total price divided by sheet one total. See that? So the total price divided by the total, this divided by this gives you this, the percent of total. And then when you look at the percent of total, we have it here again as sum. So that gives you the total answer, and that's how you get percent of total for each of these uh, items here. Well, in this case, for the total, which is based off that. So that's quickly how you do that in Power BI. And then again, I've got some key indicators here, which gives you the tax, sales, customers, households, groups, coupons, sales and tax by coupon code, transactions by coupon, and transactions by group. So that you can see the overlay of how this data for this uh, campaign is. But primarily here I wanted to show you how to get percent of total. So basically you've got it in this and this is not just percent of total of just sales but of sales with sales tax. So we took this and got the sales tax, the total price which is the sales tax plus the sales, the total which is just using sum x to get the sum 
the running sum of this total price. See that right there? And that number right there goes right here. And then we get this percent, or that, the percent of total, which is very simple to figure out based on just some simple calculations. So basically, we got one, two, three, four calculated fields there, and it gives you what you need to see. Hope you found this interesting and informational. It'll get you some great uh, insights, be able to give you a little bit more data to work with, maybe some percentages of total for a store, for a location. It could be anything, it's groups of customers, whatever. Hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thanks.